What's up YouTube? It's your boy Next Janeiro back with another video. Today I'm giving my early impressions and my first impressions of the first descendant. And man, I'ma just let you guys know right now, I'm very much enjoying it. So the first descendant is a third person looter shooter, right? It's a cross between Destiny and Anthem as far as gameplay. I would even go as far to say it has a bit of Warframe in there as well. Uh, it has phenomenal graphics, right? It's made in Unreal Engine 5 and I'm personally happy about this. One of my current favorite shooters on the market, the finals, is also on UE5. So I'm all about trusting Unreal Engine 5 when it comes to shooters, if it's done right. And it kind of gives me a security blanket for Halo Infinite or maybe the next Halo being ported over to Unreal Engine 5. So the graphics are phenomenal. Uh, I was really taken back a bit when I played the game. I said, yo, this game looks very good. I don't know which... Uh, you know resolutions is running at I'm not digital foundry but to my eye on my display playing on my series X and performance mode it looks very good I did have a few performance hiccups here and there whenever you're in the main uh, hub section right it's a lot of NPCs there it's a lot of other characters because that's pretty much the base that's the meetup place where you go to handle all your upgrades and customize and upgrade everything like that right so I think that's pretty dope I think the game is really unique uh, and I hope eventually they add PvP, but for right now it's PvE, and I really like that, man. Um, I had fun. The gunplay feels really good. It sounds good. The movement is very, very fluid, and I think that's what caught me off guard the most, right? Because you got a game that looks so good, in my opinion, and then you add on crispy gunplay and very great movement as well. I love the grapple to help people, you know, move around a bit. Now, it's not a really great, great grapple. You know what I'm saying? If you ever play Apex Legends, don't expect to be grappling around like Pathfinder because you're not going to get that here. But it is a very solid grapple. You know, you can grapple the enemies, you can grapple the ledges, you know, you can grapple the people and melee them. So I think that's very dope. It has a handful of characters that you can use. I started using the ice lady, you know, forgive me for forgetting her name, but she is very dope. Uh, I call her sub Ziana, you know, when I play with the homies and stuff as a joke because I'm a sub zero main and MK. But I think the game is very good. It has a lot of customers, uh, customization options and settings, you know, for characters. They have ray tracing on the Series X and the PS5. You can cut on the quality mode and turn that on. So that was very fun. The guns is very good, too. Now, one thing about looter shooters is, you know, you can never really fall in love with a gun. It is ways to upgrade the guns and stuff like that. But when you're just going, you know, mission to mission, section to section, you're constantly getting better guns and better loot. But like I said, that option to upgrade your guns is there. And the game dropped yesterday, which was July 2nd. And uh, I really enjoyed the game. I spent about a five to six hour session just the first time I played the game before the Xbox servers went down. So I had a really good time. This game is very well put together. I'm not understanding, you know, some people are saying the game looked bad or runs bad. Uh, my homie has a Series S and it runs 60 SPS on there and he says it looked fine. So it sounds like a you issue. It sounds like a personal issue. And like I said, it does feel like Warframe with this semi open world of Destiny. I'm actually really enjoying it. Is it the perfect game? No, but I think you can definitely sink a lot of time into it like I did as far as leveling looting weapons and gear building new descendants unlocking cosmetics and skins they're actually a it's actually quite a bit to be had here and i'll assume that they'll continue to update this and fix the little issues that people do have in the patch like i said play is fantastic weapon mods and character mods are really like warframe and i keep bringing up warframe and destiny because to me those are good games and good foundations to build your looter shooter off of you know what i'm saying and i think they took some of the best aspects from those like you know warframe what caught me in the loop right was maxing out all my frames i didn't want to leave and go to another warframe until i fully maxed out the frame i was using so that's pretty much where i'm at with it right now like my ice character i'm gonna make sure i ice her i'm, I'm gonna max her out fully and then go on to a next character as far as getting the characters and stuff like that it doesn't seem like it's too grindy most of the stuff you get from just playing and doing the missions loading times is pretty quick as well i just wanted to highlight that because these open world online games being able to jump from the base into a mission very quick is you know very dope um now i would say the microtransactions and cosmetics can be priced you know a little pricey i would say it's about the same as warframe so just be a can of that but what i will say is i spent just under 10 hours in this game and never once did i feel the need to go to the store to open my wallet to spend any money so i think that's really really dope man uh this game also remind me of outriders but it's better in every way 
um no issues at lunch for me personally man you know the game is smooth um you know the one issue i do have but i don't really consider the issue is the hub area right um when the game looked this good and feel this good i never notice stutters and frame drops in combat when i'm in missions or when i'm fighting or when i'm doing anything in the semi-open world right but when i am in that base I do feel stutters and that running animation can be weird, but I guess that's not really an issue for me personally because I'm only in the base to do s simple things, right? If a game is gonna stutter, let it stutter when I'm doing miscellaneous tasks. Now, as a fan, as a gamer, we all don't want any stutter, but what I'm saying is for this to be an Unreal Engine 5, third person shooter with all the action, with all the smoothness, the way it looks, the way it feels, and the only time I have stutter is not during big boss fights, not during bits big hectic set pieces and stuff like that right it's literally only when i'm at the hub area so i think that's just very dope and the last thing i gotta really mention right guys is this game is free to play that's amazing right that's awesome to get an unreal engine 5 next gen shooter with this amount of customization this amount is depth lore the story is intriguing i think that's amazing yo i think that's awesome it reminds me of the division 2 in some ways as well now the story is not new, you know, it's a very old concept, but the fast game playing, play, even playing with other random people, the game is so fun. And like I said, it's a free to play game. So the game stuttering in a HUD world, when I paid literally $0 for the game, I'm sorry, you can call me a shill, but I don't have too many complaints about a free to play game that looks this good, is this fun. Uh, yes, the cosmetics can be pricey, but like I said, it's a free-to-play game, just like Warframe. They have to make their money somewhere. Me personally, I'm very close to picking up that battle pass, but I have a rule where I don't really support battle passes in the preseason. I'd rather get the first season, the official season, because I feel like those tend to be better and more thought out. Uh, we're seeing that with uh, X Defiant as well, right? X Defiant season one battle pass, in my opinion, looks really good. A lot of good cosmetics and stuff in there, but the preseason battle pass just wasn't you know up to my standards and worth playing so i'm gonna wrap it up right in my opinion this is a great game this is not my full review this is just the early impressions guys so if you're not having a good experience or you're not having a fun time that's perfectly okay not every game is perfect not every game is for everyone but i will say it's a great game in regards to it being free to play it's cross-platform it's cross progressive you can play solo and private or you can play multiplayer in public on every single mission it's a lots of characters to meet and talk to it's a lot of dialogue which some of you guys is probably going to skip if you're like me you just want to get to the nitty-gritty of the action but sometimes when i didn't skip it was some very dope conversations and lore to be heard and had right so free to play if you in there let me know and if you don't like it it's easy uninstall it's that simple it's very fun i think it's worth getting a try i can see it giving warframe and destiny a run for its money people just need to break the hole from some of those other games and this is a great 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 substitute for those games i'm not a huge destiny fan or player but i do love warframe i do love the division 2 and i can see this game really giving it a run for its money it's a lot of people complaining it's a lot of people uh bitching and having their crybaby moments yo you can't please everybody it's been your boy Next Gen Nero. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. I absolutely love all of our supporters. Make sure you check out our podcast every single Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern with me, the legendary Red Dead Panda, my guy Retri, every Saturday at 7, aim down sights on the Game Pass Daily channel. Guys, I appreciate all the support. Make sure you like this video. I got plenty of more content coming. Retri had plenty of content. Panda as well. The podcast is thriving. The finals review for this current season, season three, will be coming soon. We got Flintlock, Siege of Dawn coming in a few weeks. We have uh, Hinterberg, if I'm pronouncing that right. We have Path of the Goddess. Yo, we have too many games to name, and I plan on reviewing them all. If it's any upcoming games that you would like to see me review or hear my thoughts on, or even just give impressions or critiques, let me know. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, X, whatever you call it, Next Year Narrow. It's been your boy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.
Well, Descender, do you copy? We've received a sit rep from Kingston. How the hell did this happen? Do my staff still think this is a... Descendants, they're aiming for the emergency communicator. You have to hurry. <laughs>